good morning people welcome to the channel welcome to a brand new video today is monday start of the week so today i'm gonna dead head to pennsylvania taylor pennsylvania to pick up a load that is destined for south carolina so i'm heading to my trailer now to pick it up and connect to it First time I'm not able to get a decent load out of um, New York, New Jersey that is going somewhere. So this is the, this is the farthest I will have to go to Deadhead for a load. It's gonna be like three hours, but it's just one of those days, you know, guys. This is the market today. You know, you just have to adapt and adjust. So this was the only load that I could have got that was paying decent you know it's paying twenty one hundred dollars three dollar a little bit over three dollar a mile So today I'm gonna be making some curry goat as you can see I have my curry goat here it's already been seasoned and I have water here because we are gonna pressure it so all I gotta do is just put it in like that so we put it in and you want to add some water to here and we're gonna put some water And then we're just gonna put enough water just to pressure it. As you can see, this takes some time, so it has to be pressured. So we're gonna stir it up, make sure that everything is covered with the water. I don't wanna put too much water because it's gonna take the flavor off. After, after I finish pressuring it, I'm going to be cooking it down to make gravy, to make the curry gravy okay so that looks good we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna press pressure and we're gonna set it up to high and we're gonna put it on for for about let's say 19 minutes I don't want it to get too soft and that's it we all all I gotta do is wait for the pot and then wait and wait for the time to finish while I wait for my pot to finish pressuring I am gonna burn the curry burning the curry is a must
I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit and then we're gonna add in our curry after it's done. My rice. Now that it's done, we press that and we're gonna let all the pressure out. I'm gonna put that to cover. And we just wait for that to finish. Okay, it's done. And here we go. So the way you can tell is that it's gonna come off right off the bone. See? So that means it's ready. It's good and soft. All you gotta do now is just cook it down and make the gravy thick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be transferring it from this pot over to this pot. Make sure you have some ginger in it. So that was ginger? Yes, it has to have ginger. And garlic. And garlic, Because yes. the curry is going to make your belly hurt. <laughs> well, yes. The garlic will help with that. So guys, she's making some curry goat. See there, ginger? Yep, that's another piece of ginger. Mm -hmm. so it's what, what's going to give it the flavor. But I have my question, why you didn't cut it up finer though? Smaller pieces. You don't have to because it's in the pressure cooker. Okay. So it's already pressurized. And it's easy to take it out. It's don't. easy, yes, because I will hate if I get a piece of ginger in my plate. Okay. So all you want to do is just add a little bit of water, not too much. Just enough for it to cook down and make it make the gravy thick. Okay. Can add a little more. You don't want to add all of that because then it's going to take longer. And that's all from the goat, the grease. Yep. Goat has a lot of oil. Yes, yeah, so you want It has its cook. own oil. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you want to cut out most of the fatness before you even try to pressure it. Okay. Well, you need a little bit more pimento. More pimento? Yeah, okay. you need some little bit more pimento. Pimento spice it up, guys. Brings up the flavor. And while you're making the gravy, she's going to show you a little secret recipe that she puts in it. So she's adding a little bit more pimento. This brings up the spice, guys. Careful flavor. not to bite these. Yeah, pimento no more. That's it. I'm also going to add in a scotch bonnet because you like Caribbean. it really spicy. Thing we like it if there's no spice, if, if then the no flavor spice, is broke. Right? <laughs> All right, so she just added her scratch bonnet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it just a little taste. The flavor is good, doesn't need any salt. It's okay, so you're just gonna let it simmer from here. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it cook down. Okay, what about some thyme? Yeah, that's the last one though. So she's gonna put some thyme in it. Yes. So here comes the thyme peeps. Mm -hmm. you just cut it. That's it. So this is our secret recipe, guys. This is a little secret that she adds to it just a little hint of it some nice dulce vida tequila mm. 
I need to get a taste of it. A taste? Is it a real taste or is it like first bowl and then next <laughs> dinner? Or was it? It's done. See how the gravy is nice and thick? She's a chef, guys. Guys, we're going to show you the plate. Yes, after I Once make it. And then we're going to catch Rory's... How do you say it? Your... First reaction? Taste your reaction. Your reaction, yes. Once you taste it. Okay. For a taste test. Ah. And get the everything mixed up. Where should I try first? The rice and the and the goat. The goat and the goat. 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 You ate goat. It is good, guys. Has a has a small hint of spice. And the goat is very tender. Here we go. Alright, so we're arriving at the shipper, guys. Let's see, what's the procedure here? Also, 15 miles per hour is the speed limit. Hey everybody, I'm looking for a cane logistics. Yeah, you're the right, right place. Okay. Got that. Are you empty or loaded? I'm empty. Building six. Straight down this road. Okay. You get to the stop sign at the end, cut it right up the hill, and then follow the doors down to 323 shipping office. 323? 323. Alright, so straight down this road, make a right, go up the hill. Go to 323. Yes, sir. All right. All right, guys. So that was the guard shack. So he said I should proceed straight down this road to the stop sign, make a right, then go up the hill and go to the shipping office. Doesn't require a permit. So, no 
bars there. Doesn't require a liquor permit. So I'm looking for a Duck 247. That's what my broker told me. So I'm gonna go to Duck 247. So that's the JBN broker. He just emailed me to go to Duck 247. Alright, so that's 219. There's a thing that says do not use this door, so what's the deal? Alright, so he tells me to go to Dock 247, but it says do not use this door, so I'll just park here guys and then walk in to find out what's the procedure. So this is dock 247, but it said do not use this door. So I'm about to check in that door here. You need a pickup number? Yeah, it's probably going to start with an S1000. S1000. S Okay, you're going to take that number down back to the beginning of the warehouse, the first office okay. by door 15A, right back to the 15A, there's another oh, 15 office, a. yeah, there's another office at the beginning of the building. Okay, so check in there. Yep, with okay. that S number. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So, 323. So, yeah, guys, um, I had to come here to check in for the to get told to restore to go to so that's the case that's the case so i'm gonna go back down to 15a which is on the side give them this check pickup number and then they will tell me which dock to proceed to hey buddy do i check in here all right so i'm picking up for jb hunt um, pickup number is Sam one thousand eight one seven nine. Fara F A R O U T two zero nine five three seven one. Second door one ninety six. One ninety six. All right. At the bar shack, the guy put this tag on the trailer. It's a tracker. But I'm gonna get these doors open now to go to 196.
I backed in folks, they started to load me. So green light means they're finished. Currently it's now red, which means that they're loading now. So once I get the green light, I go back inside for my paperwork. We got the green lights guys. So let's go collect these bills. here was having issues sliding his tandem forward maybe his trailer brakes need adjusted adjust um, adjustment I'm just walking back over so for me I didn't slide my tandems all the way to the back I forgot it says it says it on the window but the guy didn't tell me but usually when you're having issues sliding your tandems forward after they've been slid back, it's usually an issue with the brakes. Your brakes probably, your trailer brakes probably out of adjustment. So this is the entrance here, 15A. This is the seal to for the trailer today. These are usually a pain in the ass to break off the trailer once you locked it. You have to have a good pliers to grip this and cut it off. But well, we got our bills going back to the truck. All right, let's close these doors and get the see if our strap is back there. All right, so one strap is placed on there. Um, this is alcohol guys it didn't require alcohol permit so the guy put one strap on looks all right all right let's see how the seal is put on Boom, cut it that's how it locks guys break it snap it on at the bottom and we're sealed up and you just check the top, make sure it's locked in. Looks all right. We're good. But yeah. So guys, this is the tandem right here. The tires on the trailer. And this is the pin. So all these holes are different adjustment. So you slide it forward, backwards to distribute the weight. All right. So in the guy that pulled forward, his tandems were all the way at the back. When you slide your tandems, this, which is this, all the way back here, when the loader goes in, it it prevents the trailer from dipping. So that's what that does when you slide the tandems all the way back. So if you slide it all the way back and you're loaded, and then that trailer tandem won't slide forward, your trailer brakes is most likely enough adjustment. 